Meanwhile, President Trump is back in Washington, D.C. tonight after touring the storm-torn Florida panhandle earlier today. The president made his way through neighborhoods ravaged by Michael's winds, and during his visit, neighbors unfurled this sign in one of the worst-hit areas saying, quote, FEMA, please help make Mexico Beach great again, referring to the president's campaign slogan. Tonight, summer, like heat, has returned to the panhandle as well as power is out for roughly half the area. Another concern is the purity of the water. Kent Justice has been on the ground covering the recovery and reports he found good spirits and gratitude from a couple that was scared for their lives. Look at the size of this once majestic pine tree that came down from the front yard and right onto the front of this home, blasting that porch and causing damage to the rest of the structure. This is in Panama City Beach. We also saw some devastating effects of Hurricane Michael in another part of Bay County and want to introduce you to a family that decided they would stay. People helping people is going on. People at neighbors are getting to know neighbors. Definitely, we, we got to know everybody on this block. Yeah. Um, because of a disaster, unfortunately, yeah. right? Yeah, a lot of people stayed. A lot of the neighbors stayed. We just got here two, three weeks ago from Chicago, and we were re remodeling this house over here. Um, I woke up crying because I was more scared than he was. The house lifting up a little and shaking, and it was mm -hmm. scary. It was only on cinder blocks, our house, so it was lifting. Wow. And I think actually may it may not have been one of the trees that landed that actually held it in place. I was actually in the house writing a to whom is may concern to my kids. It's just that the house was shaking so bad. And every tree hit around but our house. It was like I wrote on the inside of it. I was tagging it, Jesus help me, Jesus help save this house. Tuesday morning um, before the storm, um, we she followed me over to the gas station and then I seen her getting close to the road. So I called her and she came back and she kind of followed me around all day. I was asking neighbors if they knew who she who she belonged to. And uh, later on, we found out it was an older gentleman that had evacuated. And I don't know, I guess she had gotten out. But um, he said that uh, he can't care for her. He lost his house and stuff. So I guess we gained a pet. After yeah. the storm, I, it was like the water in the streets was like up to here on our knees. It was insane. The squirrels were screaming. It was like walking into a planet. On, it was just like yeah, another world. The and the animal sounds that we heard. To me, it sounds so alien. It was so, it was just tragic. It brought everyone together, yeah, for sure. You know, I helped get the tree off her house and then the, met a lot of neighbors. And it was just a miracle. Miracles all around in terms of perspective because the folks who are here, who left and came back, said that it's a miracle that as much of their property as survived did. Also saying that uh, it's a place that they are committed to being here and rebuilding. In Panama City Beach, Kent Justice, Channel 4, the local station.